Hi, my name is CJ and today I'm going to be showing you how to install your stainless steel pass-through posts. Before you begin, make sure that your end posts and handrail are firmly mounted. Let's get started. Our stainless steel pass-through posts are not designed to offer structural support to the handrail. They are solely for the purpose of supporting your cable and reducing cable deflection. You will need to provide most of the materials needed for this installation. You will need an impact driver, a power drill, an eighth inch drill bit, painter's tape, a sharpie, a tape measure, a speed square, a miter saw, and a diamond tipped saw blade. Step one, measure your post. The first thing you will need to do is to gather overall measurements for cutting your pass-through post. The standard length of each of these posts is 42 inches. This means that you will most likely need to cut the post to accommodate your railing system. Using a tape measure, measure from the bottom of the handrail to the top of your mounting surface, such as your decking. Then, measure that same distance from the top of your pass-through post. Mark that distance with a sharpie or painter's tape to prepare for cutting. Step 2. Cut your post. Cut your intermediate post to the measurement from the previous step with any device appropriate for cutting stainless steel. Make sure you are cutting the straight end and not the pre-bent end. We recommend using a miter saw with a diamond tipped blade. Additionally, you should remove any burrs with a file to avoid getting metal splinters when handling the post. If you are utilizing our pass-through posts for drive tight applications, it may be helpful to use this intermediate post as a drill guide for your wood posts. This will ensure that all of your cable holes line up. Step 3. Anchor your post. Measure the distance between your two load-bearing posts. As a reminder, you can only have one stainless steel pass-through post between two load-bearing posts. Once you have your measurement, place the stainless steel pass-through post in the middle of the run. Slide the foot cover and the intermediate post mounting bracket onto the cut end of the intermediate post. Then, place your pass-through post upright between the handrail and the decking. Mount the top of the intermediate post to the handrail with the provided screws. Once you have done this, make sure that the post is level. Then, screw the intermediate post mounting bracket into the mounting surface with the provided screws. Finally, slide the foot cover down over the intermediate post mounting bracket and anchor it into your decking. That's all it takes to install stainless steel pass-through posts on level tension runs. You can keep up to date with all of our instructions by subscribing to our channel, youtube.com viewrail, or by visiting our website at viewrail.com.